Good day everyone, how are ya? Uh, today on Talking James, I want to talk to you guys about modding and hacking. Um, I do have pieces of paper here that um, I jot, jotted down my notes on because there's a lot to talk about. Um, so don't mind me constantly looking down. But um, look, I find modding very interesting. Um, I find what people can do with the consoles and everything like that is just it's it's incredible um, such as the mods that uh, Nathaniel Bandy plays um, he plays a bunch of Super Mario 64 ROM hacks uh, slash mods um, I'll show you that now okay so this is portal 64 so we can shoot portals that that's what the hack is we're just gonna mess with it for a little bit let's do a little bit of boop Sick, dude. That was so cool. Okay, we got to play around with this. Oh, dude, I want to shoot a portal into the sky. <gasps> no way. Okay, we can put one there. Oh, yeah. Dude, I think I'm... This is not going to... Ooh. Well, here's, here's the plan, okay? I want to go into, like, an infinite loop of awesomeness. Okay, here we go. So just in case I die... No? Okay, so I need to land on the stairs. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Okay, let's try that. No, I knew that wasn't gonna work. I freaking called it. No, dude! Come on, I just want an infinite loop! Why is this so hard to create? Just give me an infinite loop. What the? How did I gain air from that? That was really weird. Super Mario Run. Who needs Super Mario Run when you can play this rip-off ROM hack? That's right, Mario Run 64 forces Mario to run in one direction with no brakes. Your controls are jumping and wall jumping. There's only one stage to play, but it's got a good variety of grassy platforms, clouds, mushrooms, logs, and the like. You can simply run to the end to win. Well, how about a hack from Super Mario Sunshine? Now this is the real deal. Mario Sunshine is a 3D classic, and the best aspect of this game was brought to a ROM hack called Lonely Holidays. For some reason, Lavender Town plays at the file select, but the rest of the hack is Mario Sunshine secret levels. If you thought these were hard in the original game, this ain't any easier. First, we'll check out a recreation of Serena Beach's level, Shine 4 to be exact. I'm honestly astonished the entire level is replicated down to the wire. You'll quickly discover how different the Mario 64 physics are to Mario Sunshine. Running across the cubes in Mario Sunshine works because Mario isn't pulled down by gravity very much, and it's easier for him to walk across slants. In Mario 64, though, it's so easy for Mario to slip off a cube and die. On the right, you'll find Bianco Hill's level from Shine 6. It's pretty awesome that the platforms flip the same way they do in the original game, However, there's no spinning star with a 1-up on top. On the left side, we got Noki Bay's level from Shine 6. This is probably the hardest section because it's not only the longest, but some of these jumps are just ridiculous. Like this one. You have to very carefully get a high wall jump and land on the platform while it's sticking out. If that's not enough, try Super Mario 64 Odyssey. Just like Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, pretty much everyone has played this game or at least heard of it by now. But did you know about Super Mario Odyssey 64? The game itself is just vanilla Mario 64, but you have the power to use Cappy. Just like in Odyssey, you can throw your cap, bounce off of it, and possess other enemies. Like, check this out. I can skip this annoying snowman star and just turn into the penguin. Oh yeah, you want to tussle, Ice Bully? Yeah! Oh, uh, okay. Well, at least we can get rid of this pesky cannon barrier so we don't have to talk to the bob -ohm. Or not. Heck, you can even do the jump ground pound dive. You can also turn into a door, or this fish, or toad, or Princess Peach. Oh my god, I can throw the cap in the cutscene. And I just broke the game. The hacks that you guys just saw, I have tried myself. They are a lot of fun. Um, but I just want to make, like, I just want to make it clear that, um... I, don't, I, I just don't want to get a bunch of hate when I say this. Um, I I do like hacks, okay? Um, like I said before, I find hacks and modding very, very interesting. Um, but let's just move away from that. Let's put my likes behind and put um, what needs to happen or what is happening um, first. So, um, there... 
there is a world known modder slash hacker um, named Shiny Quagsmire, Quagsire. Um, he has his own Nintendo Switch modded and hacked, um, and well, that's how he's known in the Nintendo Homeview community. Um, if, Nintendo, if Nintendo finds out that you are modding or hacking your Nintendo Switch, they will ban you. Um, now Shiny Quagsire has found this out uh, the hard way. Um, Nintendo has taken it a step further. Um, Shiny went out and bought a new Nintendo Switch um, with just everything new. Um, he plugged in all of his essentials and he found out he was banned from that as well. Um, so what happens when you're banned? You can't go to the eShop, you can't add friends. Um, you can't do anything social media wise either. So you can't post any videos, photos or anything to Facebook or Snapchat, Instagram, whatever. Um, so basically your system becomes a single player only experience. If never, <clears throat> if Nintendo, sorry, if Nintendo finds out that you're modding your, their hardware, this, this will happen to you. Um, so I'm going to share a little bit of a story here. Uh, one day Shiny reached out to Nintendo and this is what Nintendo said. Um, Hello, thank you for patiently awaiting for a reply on your situation. Unfortunately, given the circumstances you provided, uh, sorry, unfortunately, given the information you provided, we will be unable to cancel the ban on your system. I understand this isn't what you want to hear and certainly appreciate your, your understanding in this matter. For more information, please review on our support, uh, support site, um, support.nintendo.com for the end user licensing agreement that pertains to your system. In other words, Nintendo was saying, hey mate, we saw one of your switches, um, we saw one of the accounts on your switch um, that you were using was modded and we don't want your, we don't want you on any Nintendo switch with this account because you will try and mod that one as well. Um, now, this is where I will receive some hate for my opinions. I agree with Nintendo, straight up, I do. Um, you see, let me try and paint this picture in your head. Most people just want to run Linux or whatever to explore on the Switch to see what happens. You can, uh, people have successfully played GameCube games on their Switch, Wii games, um, NES games. They've success successfully ported over other Nintendo console games over to the Switch. Um... But you also have the group of people that just, well, they want to hack and cheat their way. Um, so for example, for an example that I've got written down here, it says, um, they use whatever it is to their advantage to win every online race in Mario Kart, or they can cheat in Splatoon. Whatever the case may be, they could put some sort of cheat tools on their software that can mess around with other people's online experience for everyone else. So that also can happen with Doom, um, Skyrim, just anything. There is no need for me to get into detail because it's pretty obvious what I'm saying. It is. Bottom line is, um, Nintendo, uh, sorry, bottom line is that Nintendo can't risk that happening. So I understand why Nintendo is doing this. I understand why they banned Shinies. Uh, Shiny's Nintendo account um, and let me I'm gonna paint another picture for you Picture that you're in a game of Fortnite, PUBG, Splatoon, Mario Kart, whatever um, And some random character is doing all some weird stuff. They won't get hit. They're clipping uh, they're, they're just doing weird stuff um, They're cheating their way through the game like using a no damage cheat or extra fast cheat um, that, char that character would be ruining the experience for you. It would not be fun whatsoever. Nintendo does not want that with their systems. Uh, Nintendo wants to fun for everyone. But Nin Nin sorry, Nintendo wants fun for everyone, not unfair bullshit. So yeah, I agree with Nintendo. In fact, we should thank them for standing up and cracking down on this. Um, so there you go. They're just all my thoughts and my opinions but listen to me when I say you will get caught 
by Nintendo if you do this. Um, so I suggest not doing it. Um, but as for Nathaniel Bandy uh, that I showed you at the beginning of this video, those were just uh, ROM hacks. They weren't exactly... Um, he wasn't exactly hacking into any systems or anything like that. They were just ROM hacks. That's it. Um, so anyway, with that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Nathaniel Bandy, for um, letting me use your videos in this video. I highly appreciate it, and hopefully we can catch up and play a game or something sometime. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Catch gotcha. up.